Hey everyone, greetings to you from Prakash Halaya. At the very outset of what I'm going to say, I wish each of you plentiful blessings on the feast of Our Lady of Rosary. Which Catholic household wouldn't have a special devotion to Mary and the Rosary? From the age that we are tiny, we are taught to kneel before Mary and to pray the Rosary devoutly. Yes, initially it was just a repetition of Our Fathers and Hail Marys. But as we grow, we understand that it's much, much more than that. Well, today is the feast of Our Blessed Lady, whom we address every day in the Rosary. Her intercession has proven to be so powerful that St. Bernard beautifully penned down that never has anyone been left unaided who sought her intercession. Indeed, Rosary is a mark of Mary's powerful intercession. Even the feast we celebrate was established as a monument signifying the victory granted to Christians at the Battle of Lepanto. Subsequent popes changed the dates and the names, but yet the content of the feast has always been Mary's role as a mediatrix. Another significant element that we need to note is that Mary loves it when we pray the rosary. In her many apparitions, she does appear to the visionaries either praying the rosary or holding one. And more than once, she has requested the visionaries to pray the rosary every single day. And there are the saints like Padre Pio, Louis Mary Montfort, Alphonsus Ligari, Blessed Alan de la Roche. They have written a lot and have thus propagated the devotion to the Rosary. The Glories of Mary by Alphonsus Ligari and The Secrets of the Rosary by Blessed Alan de la Roche will do much to deepen our love for this prayer. But I do understand, praying the Rosary can be very boring at times. The same prayers again and again. Well, as the saying goes, if there is a will, there is always a way. If we work a little, we could move this prayer from our lips to our hearts. After all, whether we know it or not, Rosary is a meditation on the birth, life, death and resurrection of Jesus. Therefore, it is rightly called the compendium of the gospel message. Dear friends, if we are able to direct our attention towards the person of Jesus while praying the rosary, it will not only make it more meaningful, but believe me, Mary would love you for that. As we are in the month dedicated specially to the rosary, let us make a special effort to pray the rosary more meaningfully. Wishing you once again all the greetings of this blessed feast.